good morning. Welcome to another episode of Huntstash History. So today we're going to be looking at a really cool site here in southern New Mexico. We've got some petroglyphs to look at and the scenery around this site is pretty fantastic. So uh, I'm really excited to get out here and show it to you guys. Uh, I can already hear the, the water rolling through the stream where this site sits. So we are getting pretty close. Alright, we made it down to uh, the main petroglyph site here and I'm actually pretty excited. So, uh, one of the hardest things about capturing petroglyphs uh, on film is lighting. Uh, petroglyphs have a, a real bad habit of not wanting to show up at certain times of the day. And uh, as you can see behind me here, boy did we time it right. We've actually kind of got some oblique lighting if you will. Uh, which allows us to kind of catch the shadows of these petroglyphs. So we have hit it perfect. Uh, let's let's go give them a look. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, we made it across the stream, and we are now over here at the boulder where most of the petroglyphs are at this site. So. Uh, this boulder itself is actually really steep and uh, not only that but it sits above the water so uh, there's not really any way to safely uh, document this site effectively from the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize my drone to get up above the petroglyphs and look down on them and uh, try to document this site that way. So one of the other things that's really challenging about this site is being able to kind of pick through the specific uh, figures that are on this panel. Um, it almost has like an abstract appearance to it, but um, after watching the footage, I figured we'd just kind of let the camera roll instead of talking about specific figures. Um, just kind of let the, the footage speak for itself. Okay, well uh, now that we've got this site all checked out, let's move on to a couple more where we have a few more petroglyphs to look at. Uh, made it up to the next site. Uh, it's it's pretty close proximity to the last one we looked at, but as you can see behind me, uh, we've got quite a bit of uh, different petroglyphs here. Uh, there, some of them are kind of hard to make out, but uh, we'll we'll give them a look. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with this one here, and uh, the reason we're gonna start with it is uh, for two reasons. As you can see, we've got the shadow being cast over about half of it so uh, i saw this as a good example of what i mentioned earlier about uh visiting rock art sites during different times of the day uh, specifically petroglyphs so um depending on how your eyes are uh, one side is a little bit more easier to uh, make up than the other uh, but uh, anyways uh, what we've got here is uh what I'm going to go ahead and say is a mask. Um, it's just a, you know, a box-like shape with a couple eyes in the center. 
um, and then some lines connecting and, and coming down. Um, I've seen quite a bit of rock art like this. Uh, normally it is uh, what I would consider to be like a religious in nature, if you will. It's, it's got some uh, religion attachments. Uh, this mask definitely meant something uh, to the, the people that made this. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting. All right, so if you just come down a little ways from uh, the mask that we just looked at, uh, I find this pretty interesting. So this site has a ton of this uh, uh, faded petroglyphs uh, that are really hard to make out, and hopefully the camera can capture it uh, so you guys can kind of get a feel for what I'm looking at. But as you can see, we've got uh, some kind of line patterns here that come across on the top and bottom. Uh, they're really faded and I've actually been here at a different time of day where I didn't even have any idea that this was here, uh, much less some of the other ones that are around it. So uh, right here, I can't quite tell what it is, but uh, we've got potentially two legs that come down, I guess, uh, with a tail and maybe a head. I, like I said, this is all kind of guesswork. It's, it's really hard to make a lot of this stuff out uh, on this rock. So, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. All right, so we moved across this wall about three or four feet, and uh, we're kind of in the shaded area now where uh, the art's a little bit harder to make out. And these, these petroglyphs that we're going to look at uh, are a little bit harder to make out just because they're not as defined as far as the edges go. Uh, they're not as deep, if you will. As some of the others that are here but uh, we've got two for sure petroglyphs here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we potentially have a couple more around it but it's really hard to tell because um, this rock has some kind of natural pitting to it so uh, it's hard to kind of differentiate between uh, what is pecked petroglyphs versus what is just kind of uh, natural geology if you will but uh, regardless we've got another one of these uh, circle uh, patterns here are, are a series of circles. We've got one ring inside of another. I see these quite a bit in New Mexico. Uh, I don't know exactly what they mean. I don't really want to make any assumptions. Uh, so, but e either way, it's really cool to see. And then this one here, I find really interesting because uh, I've been to a site in Western New Mexico that has one almost identical to this, and it was identified, uh, the one in Western New Mexico, as a dragonfly. Um, so this could possibly be a dragonfly. Um, it's really kind of hard to say because, you know, I'm not a archaeologist. Uh, I always joke and say that I'm a neatologist. I identify things that are neat and I uh, don't really know why they're neat, but they're there. <laughs> so uh, this would definitely fall into my realm of just kind of capturing it. But uh, either way, we've got a couple different lines that come across with what could be uh, wings to a dragonfly, uh, along with a uh, line going vertically. Uh, which could be seen as the body of the dragonfly. Uh, either way, dragonfly or not, or uh, what have you, uh, super impressive to see. Uh, absolutely love all this stuff. So uh, we've got one more spot we're going to look at here, and uh, I think it's about time we go over there because it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we are here at uh, this next spot, and this is another one where I kind of got to pay attention and be careful of where I'm stepping just because the art itself uh, is all over this boulder. So for me to get a good perspective on it, I'm actually going to have to kind of get up uh, on and around the rock uh, to show you guys. So let's see uh, what we can work out here. All right, so we are actually up on a ledge here. Uh, along the side of the boulder that we're going to be looking at. And the reason I wanted to get on the side um, is, number one, so you can kind of get a perspective of how far up hill this is. Number two, it gives you a pretty good angle on what we're going to be looking at here in just a second. But uh, the main reason is because I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, we've got a petroglyph hiding along the side of this boulder. Uh, really interesting and this 
this looks like it was pecked out or uh, something. I mean, that's definitely not natural. So um, I'm not sure if maybe that's where they would have, I guess you could say, sharpened the stones to put in these cupules we're going to look at in a second. But uh, either way, it's, it's really hard to make out a, a, a series of patterns or anything like that to really identify what this is. So uh, I'm just going to kind of skip over it. But um, these right here are what are known as cupules. And a lot of people would call these mortars. Um, I guess, you know, I, I can't confirm or deny that they are uh, what, what I say they are, but uh, normally when you see a series of these indentions like this, and they're a lot smaller, they're what are considered a cupule. Now, the difference between a cupule and a mortar is, a cupule is what I would, I guess you could say is uh, artistic in nature. Um, it is more so a form of rock art. Um, this side in particular, I've heard that these little indentions that you're seeing are associated with astronomy. Uh, now this one here is a little bit more uh, similar to a mortar in its truest form. And a, and a mortar uh, is actually used for uh, food cultivation. So the individual would have sat somewhere in here and, you know, uh, ground down uh, different types of grain or, or food, uh, different materials. Uh, for different uses, whether it's uh, food or uh, even some form of pigment for rock art. But uh, these are really cool, and they are all over this boulder. All right, so now we've moved over to the opposite side of this boulder, and here's just another perspective on all the cupules. Uh, it's a little bit harder to make them out uh, from this angle just because of the sun, but uh, man, they are just everywhere. Um, the actual reason I wanted to come to this side is right here. We have ourselves another petroglyph. Um, now, with this one, I, I would say it's more than likely a footprint or a, a bear paw, but um, we've got what looks like one, two, three, four, I guess maybe five toes, uh, definitely four, uh, with a separation here in between the pad and the toes. but. Um, very interesting. I, I think this is super cool. Uh, I had actually been to up here and looked at the cupules before, um, and, and I had never seen this. So I saw this the last time I was out here and I had missed it the time before that, which <laughs> I do that kind of often, but either way, um, I'm not going to actually touch the rock. Uh, I'm just going to hover my hand over it, but, uh, that kind of gives you an idea of how big this petroglyph is really cool all right guys well that is actually it for this episode uh, i appreciate you tagging along i hope you enjoyed it at least like half as much as i did i had a lot of fun out here so i uh, appreciate you tuning in and if you feel necessary hit that like and subscribe and share with your friends so uh hit me up in the comments below and we will see you on the next one see ya